Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a custom order for a customer. Again, I know we do these videos sometimes and it's kind of aggravating for you guys sometimes when we're doing videos on trailers that are already sold. So the reason we do that is because it's pretty cool. A lot of times people come in and say, hey, I want to custom build a trailer and we tell them how long it takes and they get a little cold feet. They don't want to wait that long. But we like doing this just to show you guys it's proof that you guys can come in here, sit down, order a trailer and it will get here. It will turn out super awesome. We love doing these because they are so unique because the customers pretty much pick absolutely everything they want in here from trailer side stuff to living quarter stuff to layout to finishes to colors. So it ends up being a really cool product that we're able to show you guys as far as what we're capable of doing for custom orders. This is a 2024 Cimarron North Star. This is a three horse living quarter. We are eight wide, seven, 10 tall. So we have a little bit more headroom in there, a little more room for your horses. Integrated pod, and it is a 14.3 short wall by outlaw conversions. It's a super unique short wall size and the fact that it keeps everything a little more condensed, but it gives us that nice slide with that couch on the drop wall. We have a dinette in that slide out with a big kitchen area here on our left side on the off side of that bathroom. It's just a really cool setup that again, doesn't make your trailer overly long. It gives you the ability to have two seating areas and a really roomy space without making your trailer, you know, 45 foot long. Before we walk into this living quarters and give you guys a full walkthrough, we do have an 18 foot awning here above me. Again, giving you guys some great shade here. You can cook out underneath here. We have outlets on the outside for you guys. If you want to hook in a portable smoker, electric grill, anything like that, you can do that right here on the outside of this trailer and have a nice hangout spot underneath this awning. LED light strip above your door. And then you also have a full length LED light strip on your awning bar itself. Again, it'll cast light when the awning's out like this, but it'll also, while it's rolled in, that light strip is positioned to where it'll also light up underneath that awning when it's rolled in as well. So we'll step right into this LQ and give you guys a full walkthrough. Again, this is a 14.3 short wall. This was fully custom done by the customer. Um, we sit down, we fly you guys down to Outlaw. You guys get to sit down for about a full day, pick colors, pick options as far as wall material, ceiling material, finishes, colors, finishes like this barn would behind here. But again, the cool thing about this 14.3 is it does give us room to put this couch on this drop wall, but it also gives us room to put that couch on the drop wall and then also give that couch the ability to fold down into a bed while your slide out is still in. So if you're road tripping and you don't want to fully, you know, set this trailer up, run the slide out. You can easily leave that slide in, come in, fold that down and still have a little bed area to sleep as well as your bed area up in the nose. Behind me up here, again, queen size mattress up here. It's a nice memory foam style mattress that Outlaw started using. We have a big double door wardrobe up in the front. The cool thing I like about this trailer is she added a little bit extra flare on all of her valances above her window. I'll show you guys a little more. It'll be easier to see as we work way through the video, but we do have strapping on our edges as well as nail heads running on our valences and it's just a really nice clean finish to this trailer we didn't make this trailer gaudy by any means it's just a nice little finishes that i think made this trailer stand out we have our barn wood that wraps around the couch on our partition wall as well as our driver's side wall over here cabinets mounted above that couch you're gonna have some storage options here mounted into that cabinet it is kind of our entertainment center here so this is dvd CD player, you can plug a USB stick into here. Um, this is also gonna run to our TV as far as your sound will run through your speakers and your ceiling off of this. You can do AM, FM, Bluetooth. It's kind of an all-in-one package right here with this Jensen deck. As we keep working our way down this driver's side wall, we have this nice slide out here. In our slide, again, dinette. She got to pick countertops, couch material. She opted for this nice kind of gray and brown floral on her seat material for this dinette. Again, super cool. This dinette can easily fold into a bed as well. So you kind of have three different sleeping areas in this trailer. That table will drop. You'll have an insert that'll lay right there and you get kind of get a shorter bed here. We have that same floral inlaid into our dinette slide out here. So you get just a nice little finished look on this trailer. And then here's kind of a better look at that strapping this customer wanted with those nail heads built in. Really clean, add some extra flair to this trailer and it's just a really clean looking trailer. Barnwood on our back wall here. Again, nice little touch just on this back wall of the slide out. We have that barn wall accent as well. As we wrap our way around, we see our door into our bathroom. Again, a typical door is not going to be framed like this. The customer wanted to, again, add a little bit of flair in this trailer. So she opted for this K style where they go in and inlay this wood in the cutout. You can inlay mirrors, you can inlay cutouts. If you wanted to inlay like a custom brand with wood, we can do that. We can do a lot of cool stuff in these trailers. 
Before we go in the bathroom, we'll wrap around the other side. Here on our passenger side, 32 inch smart TV up top. Again, if you play a DVD through the DVD player, that'll come through here. Other than that, all your sound's gonna come directly off the TV yourself. But again, Samsung smart TV, 32 inches. We have our 6.0 fridge here. The cool thing about going to a 6.0 is you get your separate freezer from your fridge area. So you have a full separate fr freezer up top and this can run gas or propane or propane or electric. Down low, we have our big fridge area. Again, plenty of storage. You're gonna have trays down low, a couple of shelves, and then again, your door storage as well. We keep working our way down. Microwave up top inlaid into our cabinet. Some storage above that. And again, a big storage area to the left side of that microwave. Countertop, customer opted to not do a cooktop since she never cooks in her trailer. And again, that's kind of the cool thing about doing these is, yeah, you don't want a cooktop, we don't have to put one there. We can give you guys more counter space or work it around to give you guys more storage space as well. Sink right here, we do do a cover for your sink. Again, giving you guys as much counter space as possible if you guys need it. We just do a nice little inlaid counter match for that. Sink, it's this, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, like a brown, but it's not a porcelain. It is a kind of finished powder coated look on there. We opted for brown hardware, brown uh, oil rub bronze for all our hardware, both in the kitchen and in the bath that you'll see. Storage below that sink, also easy access to your hot water heater. You can easily come in here and winterize right here. Everything's right there. Everything's color coded as far as red's hot, blue's cold. I'll show you guys some wiring that Outlaw does in here to make things super simple for you guys to figure out which wires go where if you're ever doing work on here. And then again, we have some pull-out drawers underneath where that typical burner would be. And then the other thing I want to point out, again, trying to utilize all the space we do in these trailers. This TV is mounted to an actual cabinet, not an arm, so you are going to have cabinet storage behind that TV. And then again, that cabinet is also going to allow you to swing that TV out and be able to watch it from your bed area as well. As we work our way into the bathroom, we do have a pass-through door here into our stall area. I'm going to open this up so you guys have a little more room to see. Over here, we have our big double-door wardrobe. We have a hanging bar high and low in here. So again, plenty of room to hang clothes. You're gonna have enough room to hang on that bottom bar, not touch the ground. Same thing with your top. We have a carpet base and a table extension here in the back behind there. So again, it's gonna be a matching countertop to the rest of the counters in this trailer. You're gonna be able to attach it to that base and move it around inside to give you more counter space, serving space. If you wanna eat off that couch, you have a table. Or if you're cooking outside, you can easily take that table outside and have a little more counter space with you as well. And this pad is the pad that's gonna slide into that dinette when it's laid down into a bed. So again, nice little storage area for everything. Down low, we have our furnace right here. So again, easy access if you ever need to get to that furnace, work on things, service things, anything like that, your furnace is accessible both here and on the outside of the trailer. To so work our way around to our vanity, we have our mirror mounted to this wall versus mounted to that door. Nail heads around that mirror, again, a nice little accent. Toilet right here, it is a full porcelain toilet, so you don't have to worry about that ever cracking, breaking, anything like that. We have, again, matching countertops, nail heads. This is something cool we did right here. We did a little access kind of shelf sliding door so you can easily use that as like a trash can. So you can put a trash can up against that wall, slide trash in there, it'll fall into the trash can, or she can use that as like a dirty clothes hamper, putting clothes there. It's a nice little add-on we did there. Again, same style stink single lever oil oil rubbed bronze for your faucet and then this big medicine cabinet above that as well so again super cool layout we have a remote control for our max air fan mounted in here so you can take this anywhere in the trailer with you if you're taking a hot steamy shower you get out and you want to air this out you can easily just turn that fan on it's going to do it automatically and start sucking that moist air out of here or if you know it's a little warmer in your trailer and you want to pull some cold air in in the morning you can easily turn that on reverse and pull some air into this trailer you will also have max air mounted to your wall as well. If you lose the remote, have the remote in the nose and you're in here and don't wanna come out, you also have it hard mounted to the wall as well. Shower, before we walk out of here, it is a radial shower, which gives you a little more room than your typical square shower. So radius, double doors, easily operatable. We put our towel bar in our shower up against the wall. We have a skylight again for extra headroom and light in there. And then again, that kind of matching oil rub bronze for your faucet and sprayer. It is a removable sprayer, so you can easily take it off. I know sometimes these showers can get a little cramped and it just makes it a little easier if you're not getting water from just one location.
We're going to work our way out, show you guys some of the trailer features as well. To keep working our way down, we do have exterior speakers built into the wall of this trailer. So again, if you're grilling, hanging out out here, you can easily, whatever music you have from inside, turn it on, let it come outside. It'll all be on separate volume controls as far as bed area, living area, and then outside. So that's a little versatile there. Up high, we have a 16 inch awning light, drop down windows here down low again, giving as much airflow as we possibly can for these horses. If you're gonna maximize the airflow for your horses and really want as much, much functionality as far as controlling airflow, drops on the head and tail is by far the best way to go as far as being able to open this trailer up when it's warm and being able to fully close this trailer up when it's cold down low we are on two 8,000 pound rubber torsion axles all aluminum wheels these tires are nitrogen filled this is going to be one of our last set of nitrogen filled tires we get on the lot tire supplier for cimarron their nitrogen machine went down and they got quoted an absurd amount to repair it or replace it so again everything's going to be coming standard air now but this is going to be one of the last set of nitrogens we get again the purpose behind that nitrogen was that cold mornings your tires psi is going to fluctuate as far as it's going to drop and then if it warms up it's going to raise and then nitrogen just helps eliminate that so again it's no problem going back to air that was just a nice little feature we had for a while you'll notice up top we do have a non-integrated hay pod Again, what that is up there is a hay storage location. You will have a lid that runs off a gas piston to that. You put your hay in there, store stuff in there, whether it be panels, anything like that. You can lower that lid, lock it in place. That way, whatever you're storing up there doesn't get wet or anything like that. Generator box is also mounted up there as well. While we're talking about that generator, we did swap from using Onan generators on our 4.0 gases. These are super cool. Um, it's an RVMP generator. They are super quiet. I think they're quieter than the Onans. And the coolest thing about them is you no longer have to prime your uh, generator. You don't have to like worry about, am I priming it enough, anything like that. It's super simple. You walk in there and hit start and it's gonna do all of that for you. It's gonna prime it for you to exactly where it needs to be. It's gonna cycle that generator and fire it up exactly how it needs to fire up to run smooth and start smooth. So it's a super cool generator we're putting on all these guys now. Unless you go with like your bigger generator, like your 7Ks, stuff like that, it will go back to an Onan. We do have a folding rear tack on this trailer. So again, bridle hooks on our door, brush tray low, removable saddle post in here with your blanket bars on your saddle post. And then again, some more carpeted bridle hooks on that folding wall itself. The cool thing about this setup is for some reason, if you're going camping, not taking horses, you wanna take a four wheeler or have a little more room, something like that. You can easily remove this post, fold this wall over and have just a wide open entry to the back of this trailer. It's a really cool layout. It gives you guys some more functionality especially when you're running mangers on a trailer like this. We do have a ramp over here on our rear doors. So again, the doors will close. Ramp will close over that, those doors. Again, super cool that we can add that on. Working our way into the stall area. First thing you'll notice is this really cool floor. So this is worm flooring. A lot of times when you're watching our videos, you'll see them most of the time they're just black. A lot of times when we go to these custom orders, the customer wants to do kind of their own color combo in here. So this is like a brown, teal, and maybe like a light tan. It ended up looking really, really cool in this trailer. And again, when we go to worm flooring, it is impenetrable. So this customer's never gonna have to worry about water getting to her aluminum, urine getting to her aluminum. She's never gonna have to worry about that floor going bad. She can simply hose this trailer out. It's gonna give some grip to her horses and it's gonna give again some cushion in here as well. We're working our way through. Our first divider in here is a full length stud divider. These are padded dividers as well. Customer opted to do our airflow style for both her head grills and her dividers. Doing the airflow again does allow more airflow than your typical solid non-bar type divider. And again, it's gonna allow your horses to see each other. Some horses get a little sour as far as if they're with their buddies, they wanna be able to see them, they haul a little better. So we have bar, bar type here and we have bar type in our mangers as well. So your horses will always be able to see each other. We can alternate these if you want to do one bar type, one solid. If you want to do everything solid, we have a bunch of divider options to fit what you guys want to work in your trailer. First stall in here in this stud stall, it is equipped with an escape door. So again, if you're hauling two horses, you easily have storage area here or you have an easy access into your living quarter. If it's a muddy day and you need to you know, take some muddy clothes off before you go in and get your living quarter dirty, you do have access to that escape door there. Roof fence position for each one of our three stalls. This is a single piece polycore roof. So again, it's got an R3 thermal value, so it's gonna help insulate this trailer. 
It's going to take substantial hail. It'll take up to baseball size hail before it takes any damage in this trailer. So again, you don't have to worry about that if you live in a climate like we're here in Colorado where we get pretty nasty hail storms in the spring. But again, one of the coolest products in the horse trailer market is this roof by far. Hip wall, we have LED lighting, two OptiBrights. It's going to give plenty of light for this trailer, um, especially with it being a three horse. You're going to have plenty of light off those LEDs. And again, it's a super low power draw, so you don't necessarily have to have gym power or truck power turned on to power these for an extended amount of time. They'll run off those trailer batteries just fine. We do have a manger setup. So on the outside, you're going to get some storage. On the inside, you get feed bunks in your last two stalls. Again, super cool to be able to feed your horses in these trays. It's really easy to wash out. You can easily take a hose once you're done hauling these get a little nasty. Tilt this trailer back with the jacks a little bit and start washing that out and it's all gonna run to a drain here in our last manger here. So again, everything will run to that drain and drain to the ground. So super easy to clean, super easy to feed horses and it gives us that option to have more storage on this living quarter where your living quarter is taking up most of your storage space that you would typically see on a horse trailer. We're going to work our way to our driver's side or head side of this trailer. Again, those big Cimarron drop windows all the way down this head side. A little different from the hip side as far as on this head side, we have our bars here. Again, hip side horses, you're not really going to have to worry about them sticking their heads out. We run these bars to, again, keep your bigger road debris from getting in there, but also allow your horses to not stick their heads out. And they're easily movable. So again, if you need to feed your horses from the outside, you can easily access that tray in there, throw hay in there, check on them, do whatever you need to do, tie and untie from the outside. And then again, they latch right back in place super easy. The other cool thing about these mangers is besides giving you that feeding option on the inside, you are gonna get storage doors on your outside with about an 18 inch depth storage tray that's gonna run full length. So again, having more storage space on these living quarters is always, if you can add it, go ahead and add it because on a typical horse trailer, you're going to have a large front tack to really store all your stuff where the living quarter is going to take up most of that room. So this gives you that storage option. It also gives us the option to run a bigger fuel tank in here as well. If we don't do mangers, it has to be a smaller fuel tank fit into this back tack. By doing mangers, it allows us to extend and elbow that out into here and give you a bigger fuel tank so you can run that generator and stay out and about longer before having to go refuel. If you work our way to our escape door, Again, giving you access in here, customer opted to add a fold up step into here, thinking, yes, I'm gonna use that as more of a storage area or a walkthrough area into that tack room. So again, she opted to add the fold up step there to give her a little bit easier access into that front stall of this trailer. In that escape door, you'll also get that same style drop window that we see back here. Again, it'll just be a little bit smaller to fit in between the framing of that door. But again, super cool. Sometimes you're gonna see where trailer companies they won't have enough room to do a drop, so let's do like a little sliding type in there, but Cimarron goes ahead and they fit this smaller window in here to be able to maximize the airflow for your horses. We're going to way down. Our slide out is bumped out here. You will have an awning built into your slide out over the top. So again, if rain, anything like that's going to run off the slide versus into the slide. We work our way around to the front. Underneath here, we do have our dual 30 pound propane tanks. Above that is going to be our battery box that's going to control this trailer. I talked a little bit about the plumbing coating in there, but I wanted to show you guys the wire coating that Outlaw does. Every single wire that comes off these batteries is unique. They are all labeled awning positive, house positive, house negative. So if you ever need to work on these swap batteries, anything like that, everything is cleanly labeled for you guys for easy maintenance on this trailer. Outlaw is top notch as far as finishing their trailers out quality, but it's the little things like that that set them apart as far as wiring, plumbing, how they do stuff and make it easy for their customers. And they're just a great co company with customer support. If you ever have a problem, you can call them. They have a 24 seven hotline. They can walk you through how to fix stuff, how to get stuff working if you maybe forgot how to work something. And they also have like a 24 seven repair line that if they need to find you a shop on the side of the road, anything like that, they can walk you guys through that. So work our way up to the nose. We do have our two and five sixteenths coupler here, safety chains, breakaway couple, cut, uh, breakaway cable. This is our new style style coupler. We have it on this hauler today to kind of show you guys. We're perfectly level on this hauler, which is way taller than a typical truck bed, but we still have two more holes of access to lower this trailer. And that is because of the new design on that handle. 
They got with B&W because we were having issues with people with these higher truck beds or higher hauler beds or lifted trucks weren't able to get their trailers level and they didn't have enough adjustability on their couplers. So by doing this, it gives you guys an extra hole, about an extra three to four inches of adjustability on your trailer. So again, it's not a major thing, but it's a little thing that might help someone out. So we just try to go that route and try to get everybody that we possibly can in one of these trailers if that was a hang up you guys were having before. Again, if you're interested in this trailer, again, it is a sold customer unit, but we can easily do a setup like this. We can build your own trailer, take some features off this and add it to yours. But the stock number for this unit is 5N230798. Again, it's a 2024 Cimarron Northstar three horse living quarter. It's a 14.3 outlaw conversion. It's a great little setup trailer. If you're interested in this trailer, want to custom build your own trailer, anything like that. If you're not even wanting to build a living quarter, but you like features off this trailer that you want to build in a using trailer, we can do pretty much anything with Cimarron and Outlaw as far as combining them. If you want to do that, go ahead and give me a call again. My name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. My phone number is 303-684-3409. If you want to watch the video on this truck, they did it just before I did my trailer video, so check that out on YouTube or Facebook. There's a really cool walkthrough video that Larry Vickers did on this truck before me. Again, if you're interested in this trailer, give me a call and thanks for tuning in today.